Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcoming Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So the Saiyan Day celebration has officially begun on Global and from the brief look that I took, it is freaking awesome. So why don't we jump into the news and see what's going on. It's the first thing on top, Saiyan Day celebration campaign begins. A series of various events are available. New SSR Vegeta will be available in the Saiyan Day Dokkan Festival. That's of course the transforming physical Vegeta that goes from Super Saiyan 1 all the way to Super Saiyan Blue. On top of that, after Dokkan Awakening, Vegeta can transform multiple times with his passive skill. So there we go. During the event period, a new Dokkan event and Extreme Z Battle. New Extreme Z Battle will also be available. I think you guys, if you've been keeping up with the news at least, know what that is, but we'll save it as a surprise for everybody else in a second. Okay, come join the event and enjoy Dokkan Battle. Alright, so Saiyan Day login bonus is number one. You can get 3 plus 1 plus 8 Dragon Stones, which is 12 Dragon Stones. I don't know why that took me so long. <laughs> I'm sorry. Math is hard. Okay, so 12 Dragon Stones upon the first login during the event period. And of course, we'll get into the exact breakdown in a second. Um, number two is the special missions, up to 48 Dragon Stones, which is really good. Okay, number three, Saiyan Day Dokkan Festival. So we have the transforming physical Vegeta right there. That's the guy that we're all hoping to see tomorrow if you do summon. Best of luck to you guys if you're summoning. If not, then, uh, I mean, watch other people summon, I guess. But I am going to be summoning because I do have a pretty, pretty lit collab um, coming up for you guys. I don't want to give away who it is because it is someone that is uh, well known for sure in the Dokkan community, but I don't want to give it away because I want to keep it a surprise, so I'm not going to say anything else about it, but it is someone I've never collabed with before, and uh, it's coming soon, guys. So there you go. That is the Transforming Vegeta, but also there's an Int Super Vegeta, who is also extremely good. So if you don't pull this physical Vegeta, he's actually not a bad Constellation prize. Ideally, of course, everybody pulls both. But this Int to Vegeta is actually really, really solid. Okay, number three, sorry, that's number three. Number four is the Earth Shaking Showdown versus Vegeta. That's his Dokkan event, of course. I'm hoping it's gonna be pretty challenging because I feel like Dokkan events in general are pretty easy and I do want a really challenging, hard event to take on. So I'll probably make a video taking on this event when it drops. Okay, number five is Dragonstone Sale. We got 32 stones over 50% off two times. Not bad. And 91 stones over... 20% uh, discount, pretty standard, 5 times. So the 91 stone pack is, is an okay deal, but I usually stay away from them if I can. But the 32 stone pack I always pick up. And in addition, 2 time only 77 stones. Uh, this usually is a very good deal. So if you guys are free to play, sorry, are pay to play players, if, we're, if you're free to play, then you're not going to be picking up stones anyways. You don't care about this. But if you're pay to play, this is actually a really good deal, generally speaking. Uh, number six is a royal family crest at the Baba Shop. So this, I don't know exactly what it's about. Um, it's a new item for sure for the Baba Shop, and you can exchange it for powerful characters. I'm guessing that these two guys uh, may be available, possibly, but they are the new... Okay, I'm just going to give it away right now. They are the new EZA characters we're getting for both Global and JP, so I don't know if they're going to be available, but if they are, that would be awesome if they can somehow allow us to get these guys for free. But I don't know the exact pool of characters going to be. I'm guessing it's going to be all Vegeta's family characters. Um, but stay tuned for that, guys. Maybe there's already news out there that I missed. But for the time being, we are getting these new items. But I don't know exactly how they're going to work. Uh, number seven. Okay, this is extra exciting for people who haven't awakened a few characters. Specifically, the Rage, Vegeta, and Bulma. But even more so, the LR Beerus. I know a lot of people, including myself, pulled LR Beerus on that New Year Step Up banner. And if you guys have been needing those pudding medals, now's your chance. This event is finally, finally back after so freaking long. Make sure to farm up those pudding, get those medals, awaken your Beerus, awaken your Rage Vegeta. And even if you guys don't have those guys, farm the medals anyways, because you never know when you'll pull one of them. And if you don't have the medals at that point, you'll really regret it. And uh, even if you do have those keys for the Portal of Memories, you still can't get those pudding medals because they don't become available unless the event is actually active. So make sure to get on that, guys. And congratulations to everybody that will be awakening their LR Beerus with this event. I'm really happy for you. All right. Number eight is the return of the Dragon Ball Super Feature Trunk Saga event. And number nine is another new virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash or Dokkan Battlefield, the sixth one on Global. And of course, that means more free Dragon Stones, more Battlefield Jewels, and all that good stuff. And of course, I will be streaming that for you guys as well, so stay tuned for that. 
And number 10 is the return of three Extreme Z battle events, Easy A Broly, Easy A Super Saiyan 3 Goku, AGL, and STR, and Int Ultimate Gohan Extreme Z battle as well. Now, this could also bring in the Extreme Z Awakenings for the AGL and physical Ultimate Gohans. I'm not 100% sure, but that's a possibility, so stay tuned for that. Alright, number 11. These three Dokkan events will be available every single day for the duration of the celebration to make it easier for you guys to Dokkan Awaken the characters for these EZAs up here. And number 12, we have the Bizarre Rabbit Mob event. Uh, number 13, we have the Adventure of Gratitude event with the Kid Goku. And number 14 is a huge one. Okay, this is the Extreme Z Battle to Extreme Z Awaken, the Tech Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta and the physical future trunks. Now, I've already made multiple videos talking about them. If you guys want to know what they do or what their Extreme Z battle event is going to be like, then go check it out. But this will be the first Extreme Z battle event we ever have where we fight two characters, two enemies at the same time. And I'm very excited to see how it turns out. It's going to be super hard because there's going to be two enemies or anything like that. But uh, I was really not sure if Global was going to get them at the same time as JP. But as it turns out, we are. And uh, that's that's just awesome. I love the fact that they're releasing them, you know, at the same time because Global usually has to wait a long time for stuff like this. So to get it, you know, simultaneously is uh, is a nice feeling. It's a nice feeling. So best of luck to you guys who are running it. This is another stream that's happening on the 24th. Well, actually, technically 25th for me. So that's happening, guys. Um, get hyped and good luck to you guys if you're going to be farming these guys out too. Um, they're both really good. They're both two really good Extreme Z Awakenings and I uh, look forward to getting them done. Number 15 is a Realm of Gods category summon. I always say stay away from these. I mean, these guys are all good units, but there's definitely better value banners out there for you to spend your stones on, like the Transforming Vegeta. Now, we don't know exactly what the Transforming Vegeta banner is going to look like, but I'm sure it's going to be really good. So I would say save your stones, don't summon on this banner, and you'll probably be better off for it. <laughs> Number 16 is a Father-Son Gallic Gun Summon. So I'm assuming that these two guys are going to be available through that, which probably means that, uh, let's go up a little bit, the Royal Saiyan Crest, Royal Family Crest, will not allow you to pick up these guys, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But anyways, moving right along to number 17, I believe. Number 17, Fight Against the Spare event with the Future Trunks and Future Gohan. This is actually an excellent story event for farming one of the best items in the entire game the gravity chambers. Trust me, they're so freaking useful for saving you training items. And I recommend people to go to stage two, hardest difficulty, and farm a couple hundred of those. Uh, is it 50G or I forgot what it's called, but the best possible gravity chamber in the game. And you will not regret it. You'll use them real quick and uh, they're super useful. So go do that guys if you haven't done it yet. Number 18 is Goku and Friends event with the radishes. Number 19 is the Bardock event. And number 20 is the Tree of Might event with Turles. So there we go guys, that is pretty much the Saiyan Day celebration. I'm not really sure if there's going to be a part 2, probably not, it's probably going to be just one part, but that's enough for me, there's a lot of great stuff coming. And before we end off the video, let's just go over to this login bonus right here, and see what's going on with that. Uh, so it looks like 12 stones initially, and 2 Royal Family Crest of Vegeta right there. Um, what else? So one stone beyond that and one stone every day. We got some keys, of course. People were asking how to get more keys. Basically login bonuses, missions, stuff like that. Uh, some training items, some medals, some support items. Pretty standard stuff, to be honest. Uh, nothing else crazy here. Okay, and then moving on to the missions. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so orbs. Uh, a stone every day for the daily missions. One stone there, two stones there. That's three plus... Oh, actually, no, they said 48, right? So in total, 48 stones. And uh, you get a good amount of orbs, actually, for Z Awakening characters. Um, yeah, okay, so that's pretty standard as well. Up to 48 stones total, guys, for doing the mission. So make sure you do those. And that's all I really got to say for the video, man. I think this is actually an excellent celebration. Definitely better than the spring training celebration. Although I was pretty happy about the Waifu Awakenings. I got to say, this excites me a lot more than the waifus. So guys, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about all these events. Which event are you the most hyped for? Or maybe it's the banner. I'm definitely excited for the banner. Like I said, a big collaboration coming and also another uh, stream that I've planned with my girlfriend. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be something to do with fitness and it's gonna be kind of a bit of a competition. 
But I don't want to give away any details for that too because I want to keep it a surprise. But that's going to do it for the video, guys. Hope you guys found it interesting or fun or helpful or exciting. Whatever. I don't really care. But as long as you found it somewhat positive, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's the first time watching me, first time to the channel, you'll like what you see. Then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. And that's all I got to say. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.